Alright YouTube, this is Glock Ninja. And doing another video. Alright. Looks like everybody is doing a video on the Xbox One versus PlayStation 4. Including Phone Dog. And, you know, they do videos about cell phones. And now they're doing videos about gaming consoles. Alright, so anyway. Here's my take on the whole PlayStation versus Xbox um console war whatever you want to call it Sony has pretty much shot themselves in the foot okay I'm sorry I mean everybody knows I'm a PlayStation Sony fan but I have to call it like it is okay um a few years ago maybe last year or what whenever any time before the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One came out, Sony always had something to fall back on. Okay, and that was no matter what, no matter how many people came forward and said the Xbox Live was better than PSN, Sony always could say, well, at least our service was free. Okay. <laughs> well, they got nothing to uh, fall back on now. They have no more excuses. All right, and I'm a, I'm gonna be a brutally honest with you guys. Sony is not a software company. I don't care if you want to, you know, talk about Sony Vegas and these uh, video editing programs that Sony make. Uh, I don't know if they make it or they just slap their name on it or whatever. Um, Sony is not a software company. They are a hardware company. Okay. And they are, they are not known for um, very good interface concerning uh, software with their hardware. They're not known for that, okay? They're known for putting out a very good quality product, okay? They're not known for ease of use. They're not known for great interface. You know. Microsoft, on the other hand, is a software company. Not a very good software company, mind you, because ever since they came up with Windows, okay, um, it has just gone downhill. I mean, it. I mean that Windows is their bread and butter, but I'm just saying, you know, they have had so many more failures than success with Windows over the years. But they are a software company, okay. And one thing they did right was, uh, I do admit, <clears throat> a lot of people say Xbox Live is great and everything, and, and I cannot, you know, dispute so many people. You know, they, if, if so many people say, oh, it's great, well, you know, not all of them can be wrong, right? In my personal opinion, Xbox Live interface on the Xbox 360 was not all that great. I still like the Sony cross media bar menu system. It was a lot simpler, uh, less cluttered. Uh, it didn't shove commercials into your face. It didn't throw. You did. You know. You could tell the difference between applications, games, uh, and advertisements. Okay. With Sony, you could tell the difference. With Microsoft, you can't tell the difference. You go on Xbox Live, and you don't know if it's a commercial or if it's something they want you to go into to try and play, or if it's a different uh, section that they created for you to go in, and it's part of the system or or part of the interface. You don't you don't know, okay? You're looking through the menu system, and right next to the settings where you go into the settings is another 
icon and it's a commercial it's a trailer for a movie or a game or or uh, it's trying to sell you something okay and uh, it's it's cluttered okay but people say Microsoft has the better online experience and because of cross game chat or party chat or whatever and I think those were the only two things that actually made the Microsoft Live uh, Xbox Live better than PSN aside from uh, the performance issues maybe uh, some Xbox uh, fans would say that it ran smoother uh, it was a uh, more reliable uh, interface less bugged uh, less viruses whatever you know but the thing is is in the amount of years that I've had PlayStation 3, I really ne I really never had any problems with PSN. Okay? I've been able to play all my games online without a lot of problems, okay? Every I mean, don't get me wrong, both systems have problems online, okay? Both systems have uh disconnect issues, uh whatever, okay? So, let's not act like we're uh, either one is perfect. But anyway, I've I've had a lot of enjoyment with PS3, PSN online, and and there's no problems. And I had I did not have to pay a single penny to enjoy it. Okay, but now Sony is charging people money to play online. A big mistake, big mistake, Sony, uh, because now you're gonna be scrutinized for every little thing, because people are now paying for that service. And if you can't do as well as Microsoft or better, people are going to bail on you. They're going to say, well, why, why am I paying Sony for a lesser service when I can go to Microsoft and get all this multimedia stuff, you know, connect all of my, you know, home electronics, you know, television, stereo, um, whatever and uh, cable box and and all that stuff and get more out of my system and pay the same almost the same amount of money per year to do all this plus play online and all this why why would I go to go to Sony you know and, and now Sony what they're going to have to do is prove themselves and they're going to have to come up with an evolution of their online uh, service that is going to surpass Microsoft's service and if they don't you know it's gonna go right back to people choosing Microsoft over Sony as far as online service goals okay um, and that's a shame because we all know that PlayStation usually gets the most games in the long run okay they get the most uh, exclusivities with games and they get more third parties and you know they have more first party games um, in the long run they're always they always get the m most games okay and and it's a shame because now there is nothing to differentiate Sony and Microsoft as far as their online service goes okay and so it is really boiling down to one thing and that is who's going to have the most games who's going to have the best games okay and who is going to uh, stay on the shelves longest you know their longevity you know I'm still waiting for Xbox 360s to disappear from the shelves, you know, any day now because, you know, now that Xbox One's come out, uh, I can't imagine a Microsoft supporting two consoles. Um, they hardly ever did. I know 360 came out, they did away with uh, the original Xbox almost, uh, what, a year after. Um, 360 came out and 
they just recently a few years ago um, uh, don't quote me on the exact time period but and uh, shortly after they did away with the Xbox Live support for the original Xbox you know and there's you know uh, to this day you can still go and find a PS1 somewhere you know you can still buy a PS1 brand new um, you can still go and buy a PlayStation 2 you know uh, and of course you you know you got PlayStation 3 you know it's gonna be here for a while folks so don't give up I mean I was at GameStop yesterday and I was amazed astounded by the number of PlayStation 3 games that are on the shelf I was amazed I mean and what's so amazing about it is uh, like four or five titles on the shelf were recent very recent titles big blockbuster hits like The Last of Us you know um, and, and this is what I'm talking about you know Sony knew that they were coming out with the PlayStation 4 yet they still focus in on their old systems you know um, but anyway um, this is more of a criticism towards this video is more of a criticism towards PlayStation and Sony rather than um, a compliment because they're screwing up why are you charging people to play online? I mean, play, PlayStation Plus, okay, you want to give people free games, uh, free downloads, whatever, for uh, a service fee? Okay, fine. Okay, you want to charge people extra money to have party chat, cross game chat? That's fine too, okay? But please, don't charge people to play the damn game. I mean, they already bought the game, okay? Let them play it online for free. Jeez. You know, and uh, I do, there is a one big difference between PlayStation Pay to Play and Xbox Live. And that is, you don't really have to pay for PlayStation Plus um, to utilize certain services like Netflix and Hulu and uh, I think their internet browser whereas to if you want to go online at all with the Xbox one I mean even just to look at the internet you have to pay you have to pay Xbox Live okay and so that's just the slight difference but I mean let's face it it just doesn't make you a better person for it um, I mean, come on, do you really have to charge people to play online, Sony, come on, it's getting ridiculous, anyway, that's it, I'm, I'm tired of ranting, hope you guys, um, enjoyed the video, later.